Vikings, icebergs, fjords, stunning vistas, and lifelong memories are awaiting us in Newfoundland. So if you've ever wanted to see an iceberg up close, this is the adventure for you. Because on this journey, you'll have multiple opportunities to see these icy giants, as well as a chance to do some whale watching. You'll have a chance to walk on the Earth, Earth's mantle. You'll experience a traditional Newfoundland screech. You'll gaze out over the rocky coast of the easternmost point in North America. In short, this particular tour is absolutely packed full of amazing destinations that you'll never forget. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Our journey starts as we make our way through the skies to Newfoundland. We'll be traveling substantially faster than the Vikings did to land in St. John, Newfoundland. Our time here starts with a visit to the rocky beaches of North America's easternmost point at Cape Spear Lighthouse. We've got a full day planned here in St. John before we return to our hotel for a second night. As we bid adieu to St. John, we find ourselves in Gander. Now, for those of you who don't know, Gander has had an interesting history. This small city of a few thousand played a very important role in the events of September 11, 2001. Our guide here is going to share the whole story with you. Next, we head north to Twillingate for our first adventure out on the water to see some icebergs before we head back to our hotel in Gander. The next day we head west and find ourselves in Gross Moor National Park, where we have a chance to walk out on the Earth's mantle. Here in Gross Moor, we'll also have our second cruise out on the water to see some of the stunning fjords here. After a couple of nights, we head to Newfoundland's northernmost point. Here at Lance O Meadows, we are going to learn a little about the Vikings and how Leif Erikson founded a colony here at the edge of the world over a thousand years ago. Turns out, you're far more likely to be remembered for your discoveries if you actually tell people about them. We'll learn how they made this incredible journey, why they chose to settle here, and why they left. Departing here, we have another chance to hop on a boat for an iceberg and a whale cruise in St. Anthony. Our last destination in this journey will have us hopping on a ferry and making the journey over to Labrador. We'll spend a day in Labrador where we'll learn a little about the history of whaling in the region. We've made our way across some of the most beautiful landscapes in North America and had many multiple chances to see some whales and icebergs. Alas, we must now head home. As we make our way back into Newfoundland, we'll have a chance to take pictures and make some more memories. So, if you find yourselves interested in joining us on this adventure, give us a call at 888-845-9582 or visit us online at makingmemoriestours.com. Thanks.